Good morning. It's a Wednesday, November 15th. The viewpoint behind Seafood.com News is to report every day on what a seafood buyer needs to know. In our video today, we decided to explicitly make this clear with the following roundup. Here's some interesting things. On Dungeness crab, the Oregon season will be delayed for at least a couple of weeks, and the Central California season that opened today may have lower landings than the last few record years. Taken together, the signs point to a potential further decline in availability for Dungeness crab, making the share going to the live market even more important and expensive. Now let's look at king crab and snow crab. The Korean crackdown on transshipping Russian crab is a big deal as we report today. This summer's price weakness in both the U.S. and Japan has been caused partly by an upsurge in illegal supply. This is coming to an end, meaning that lower supplies over the next several months uh, are, are likely and a likely market tightening in some, in some respects. Let's look at yellowtail. Despite the New England's council vote to effectively keep yellowtail quotas close to last year, this is not likely to be accepted by NMFS, meaning that scallops could potentially be impacted next year by tight restrictions on yellowtail. However, scallop landings are already projected to decline, so any further restriction would be hard for the market to take. Now let's look at Europe. Europe, as we reported, and as expected, uh, Europe is now officially in a new recession as the output fell during the third quarter. Economists expect that this recession is going to continue and deepen over the next few months. Seafood species sold in Europe will be facing a more difficult, difficult market conditions, uh, which means you should watch things like lobster, monkfish, scallops, along with pollock and cod. All these are U.S. products with substantial exposure to the European market. This means there could be some buying opportunities here in the U.S. Finally, on IUU fishing, tuna traceability is going to be more important as environmental groups like Greenpeace document illegal transfers at sea. A lot of tuna that ends up on retail shelves is bought through auctions where traceability is low. This is an issue that will continue to gain visibility. The ISSF, which is doing a very good job, has their work cut out for them. So that's a quick summary of our news today. We hope that you'll enjoy reading these articles. In Lexington, Mass., this is John Sackton.